Hey you guys, this is EJ Uno and I am in my man cave toy vault and this video isn't so much about, well it's not going to be anything about me unpack, I mean unrevealing or doing a review on anything, but I really just wanted to touch base on the Super Shredder. Um, I got one and I was lucky to get one. I am sorry and I hope that the ones that didn't get one, that they that you guys end up finding one inside Walmart. I know that Walmart isn't the best place, and I'm about to touch base on that. But, um, yeah, I mean, well, first let me get started by saying about the NECA. Okay. Okay, get it on there. Okay, I don't, I have never encountered, this is my first time doing a one on NECA, like the, the limited time one because usually it's been a long time since I did it. The last time I have ever did something like that is when I was getting the Maddie Collector Masters of the Universe, which I gotta say was it, it was tough, but it wasn't ha as bad. It wasn't even as bad as I have saw Neca. Neca, I don't, I, I'm, I am gonna hashtag you guys to, to for you guys to understand that. You guys have the most screwed up computer I have ever saw in my life for being that, like, knowing and many people love your product. It's like, you guys need to, like, get new engineers, new tech engineers, because each, I mean, I understand, it's a limited time, it's, it's, um, it's, you know, everybody got to get it fast. I understand that. But having, like, first of all, where I saw it messed up from a tech person of my own point of view, I mean, own, you know, point of view of looking at things. First of all, the U.S. Com the U.S. and the um, international should never be together. First of all, because this, this, this is just me talking, you know what I'm saying? I'm not no tech genius, but you guys should have one side for the international that the U.S. don't see. And you should have U the U.S., from where the international don't see because when you collide in two like basically two worlds into one your computer is always going to crash because you because they're interfering with us we're interfering with them and then we're all interfering with each other on other sites you will never see international you know do you want to purchase this for international you never saw an Amadi collector you never saw on none of that stuff because the com because they had it different that you know, we never saw what the international, what 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 was open for them, the window open for them, and they never saw what was open for U.S. That's why I, the computers were split in half. Like everybody from the U.S. had to cram inside that one room and get whatever Maddie Collector was was going on that time. International had their own set of things. That's how I figured Mattel probably did it, and Neca, I figured you guys could have took advice from that. Like it, like that's what I see is one of your problems. Okay, I understand that everybody wants to get it, but it's just like, to me, it showed a whole lot of mess up because it was like, it wasn't there, then it was there, then it wasn't there, then it was there. That wasn't just because people were backing out of the shipping. I saw people writing, talking about, oh, they didn't want to pay the shipping. It wasn't that. It, first of all, where it should have been is when we ha when you have it in your court, I understand that's up for grabs if you don't if you don't go fast enough. But when you get past in your court and you get to payment method, that should automatically be that person's because if they're doing the payment method, then that if they're already in process. Like that's just like me being in line and then me getting ready to pay and then somebody snatches it from me. That's it's it's just that way. Like I can grab it in my cart and on my way to the cash register, you know. Okay, somebody can easily just grab it. But when I have it in my hand, I have it in the cart, I'm going up to the cashier, I'm about to pay for it, I'm giving her the money, and then somebody snatches it from me, that's basically just like stealing it. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you want us to be like, oh, okay, all right. So we, we got it in their cart, we're purchasing it, <clears throat> and then it's going right there. It's just like who's the fastest one to type in their credit card information? That's really what it was like. And... It, and I just thought that was the most stupidest thing. I was telling Nair about it. He's another YouTuber. I'm sure you guys know I'm, I mention him a lot. 
we were talking about this. It was just so dumb, just so ridiculous. Like, I, I didn't. I mean, I, I could. I couldn't even go through with it. I was. I. I didn't want to give up. Nair Lucky told me to to go on, and then I was like, okay, I because I, I gave up the first time. And then he said, go on. So we were rushing to get it. And then, and then he gave up and I said, there, go ahead, go get it. Then we, then we got two of them. That, that was one for him, one for me. That was cool. That, you know what I'm saying? Like we luckily just broke into that window and just got it. That, that was, that was really good. So the next thing I want to talk about is when they're saying, okay, it's going to be up for like to go to Walmart. First of all, um, this is going out to Walmart too. I'm a hashtag Walmart too. Walmart, you guys have the most. How shall I say it nicely? The most shittiest people there. I I am not lying. I am seriously not lying. I used to sell cell phones at Walmart and one of those like booths. Like the, if you go into Walmart and you see like the premium wireless. I used to work for that company inside Walmart. You guys have the most crookedest people I have ever known. Like if somebody knows something is up. For grabs and it's worth money I guarantee you you guys you guys have people there that are gonna hold it in back and not be positive and be like okay well I'm gonna put this out no if you if, if they know it's a large demand for it it's somebody there somebody there that's gonna that's gonna take the whole lot because it is crazy for us as youtubers and people on youtubers and our subscribers and everybody face the same thing we all go inside Walmart the thing is clear but you guys have a day a debut a debut for the product coming out on the shelf, but it's never there. It's like two or three there. Okay, I understand it's scalpers out there, and that's another thing. Uh, um, but before I get to that, I understand it's scalpers out there, but it's just like it's scalpers inside Walmart too because I really believe and really have known this that they that you guys will literally. Like inside Walmart, the reason why we can't find nothing is because once they know that, oh man, this person calling for this NECA, this person calling for this He Man, calling for this GI Joe, calling for this um WWE, don't don't get, you know, don't don't get you know bamboozled when somebody when one of their employees is saying, oh which one you wanted, oh which one was this, oh what are they used for? They're taking knowledge into what we collect and how much is worth, and I guarantee you they're looking that up and figuring out, man, well you know what I'm saying, as soon as this comes in. I'm just going to grab this and I'm just going to put it on eBay and then that's the real other scalpers right there to tell you the truth. That's really what it is and that's really what they do. The only time you're going to come across somebody who's being genuine is if it's an older person, nowhere to lie. If it's an old person working in that department, they're really not going to care. If it's like literally somebody who's just like a female who's really just like ditzy and she really doesn't care or really females really just don't care. It's really just the men in there. That really know what they're doing. I'm sure some females in there, but it's some re it's some men in there that know what they're doing inside those toy departments. That's that's just me. And then, um, so when you guys say, "Oh, I, I think it was such a bad mood, but bad mood, bad move," and I'm in a bad mood <laughs> for you guys to have switch everything over to Walmart. I think you guys should have never did that. I think you guys should have seriously left it at. GameStop and Target. I really believe you guys should have really left that at GameStop. First of all, because you guys could have get Game GameStop more business, because God knows they're running out of business right now. And you guys could have gave the business to Target, kept business with Target, because because and that's splitting up to Walmart because Walmart's website is is fucked up. I mean, I'm I'm just gonna be real. I don't mean to be cussing, but I'm I'm just saying Walmart's website is fucked up. Walmart's when you go inside a store like literally <laughs> that that is messed up because you know I'm like I just find it hard to believe because it's just like once you go in there and you only see one Ninja Turtle one neck of Ninja Turtle but I know in a box in a crate of, of a box I know they're gonna put at least four of them in there not nobody's just gonna put they're just not gonna ship one figurine or even two it's gonna be at least four of them in, inside of a container so you know what I'm saying? So what's happening to the other three? Because if I'm waking up at seven o'clock in the morning and I'm going to Walmart and I only see one there, what happened to the to the three? So let's just do the math. Okay. Three of those are somewhere in the Walmart with a Walmart employee. <laughs> For real. 
So, just wanted to say that too. Okay, getting on with the scalpers. What, what should I say? Okay, uh, okay, I'm gonna pull this up right here as I'm talking. Okay, getting on to with the scalpers with the super shredder. Okay, what I think is ridiculous is okay. We all know that the super shredder was literally um, what was it? Twenty nine dollars. Okay, nobody wanted to pay the 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 extra money. I get that. I understand that. I'm with that right there. But, you know, some of us did. Why? Because we could have waited until we got to Walmart. But just as I explained about Walmart, that's the reason why some of us were skeptical about going. Okay? So, on that being said, look at this right here. This is right there. That is Super Shredder for $150. Hasn't even came out yet. 9 out of 10, not even in the person's hand. And it's not because it's a confirmed order. And then... It, it just gets more ridiculous. Like, check out eBay. Like, literally, people are putting, like, their information to just confirm that, hey, I'm about to scam you. But, I, like, somebody's literally putting their own... Let me make, let me just let this focus on here. If you can. Okay, that's a little bit too bright. But anyway, I'm going to tell you about it. Somebody's literally putting their confirmation email on here to let you know that they got it. And that it's a hundred and twenty nine dollars that they're selling it for, but letting you know that they own they pay twenty nine dollars for it. Like if that's not a scammer and a scalper and a kick in your fucking face, you know what I'm saying? Please, you know, tell me what 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 is. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's just so funny how they're just they're putting like here's one in here. He's selling it for hundred thirty nine dollars. He's letting you know that hey, oh man, oh my, if I could, okay, there it is, there it is. Okay, so he's putting it for $139, letting you know that he only paid $49, included shipping. So he's looking for a, more than half, yeah, more than half of his money back from you if you're going to pay that. So it, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like when you, when you collect things, and what gets me mad is that it's only one per customer. And it was just like, and 9 out of 10, if this is a scalper, they probably had their girlfriend, their brother, somebody else on another computer doing the same thing. So what, what drove me crazy is this, that they don't even want to collect the thing. They just want to get it so they can get even more money off of it. That is the most ignorant thing I have ever thought about. Because it's just like, you don't want to get it to collect it. You don't want to get it because it's worth it. You want to get it because you want to triple your money on it. And triple, that's what I mean, because you're not getting double your money back. You want, like, like almost triple your money back, which I think is pathetic. So, that's what I wanted to say. I mean, just look at all these. I mean, they got shredded for $139, $100, $100, $99, $149, $104, $110, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115, $115,
Like, literally. And then the people you know around the place and, and everything, nobody's going to, like, search you or nothing like that. Like, you know what I mean, it's really not. They're really not. So, I just want to say, I just want you guys to understand that, yes, we got scalpers in the store I and mean, coming and buying up shit they really don't need. But it's where it's it's in the Walmarts. You know what I'm saying? I think if we, like, seriously, like, stay in and, and like, email Walmart or... You know, maybe reach out to NECA, send an email out to NECA, say something about, like, you know, because, seriously, this is really happening. I mean, have, I mean, like, have one of your people, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know they say they get vendors from NECA come in. I mean, count your inventory. Count how many are selling and count how many are have didn't sell. I guarantee you every NECA vendor will see that they're missing items. And it's easy to say, oh, this item got lost. And they just chalk it up to, you know, credit from the store or whatever or something like that. Or, or the store gives them credit if one's lost. And that, that's all they do. They, you know, it doesn't count as stolen. It count as lost or damaged or something like that. And that's how they scan it out. And that's how they get it for free. Trust me, I've been to this. I know what I'm talking about. So, this is when I wanted to talk about the next situation because it did get me mad. And I'm mad for the people who didn't get theirs. And I'm mad for the people who get out there. Because literally, I know you guys see me doing videos and you'll be like, man... He gets so lucky, he, 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 he scores all this stuff, like, literally, like, no, this is, like, sh strictly because I have literally, you know what I'm saying, like, I have, I was, I love toys as, as a kid, I love it as a, as a grown man, I just know what to look for, when, to, when, when to go for, what to approach, when to attack, when, basically, I know when to, like, hit the stores and all that stuff, and I, I get lucky just a little bit, I hope my luck stays with me, but, that's literally how it is. Like, for real. Like, I just, I learned the system because I work for retail. I work for all that stuff. I know how it goes. So, on that being said, hope you guys enjoyed my talk about <clears throat> NECA, Walmart, and the scalpers. So, stay tuned. Um, more figurines on the way. More um, reviews. And um, be back for more. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment. How should I say it? <laughs> I've been drinking some wine. Don't forget to like, comment, hit the bell, and share. Okay, and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you again. It's the EJ Uno, and I'm out.